just have to leave. And I was like, okay, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to get my stuff sorted in Mexico and get my stuff sorted in Canada as I'm now in this position. And the next year is just to get this like residency in both of these countries. This was amazing. So yeah, so from the reason I even tell that story, as long-winded as it is, is that um, I came from a very difficult situation of uh, uh, leaving a lot, like, because when I left the United Kingdom, I left legit everything. I left, like, friends, I left, uh, I left some people, I left people that necessarily I needed to cut off, and this actually goes on to my next thing of, like, what, another thing I learned from 2022, um, one of the reasons I'm even in this position now is was developing the backbone. You, for a lot of people, especially the men, and I'm sure like the manosphere, and this I'll talk about it, guys in 2022, they need to have a backbone. Honestly, I don't care what your stature is. I don't care how much money or peas you have in the bank. You need to have a backbone, and you need to say when no means no, if you need to cut off some people, that are not adding any value in, to your life, you need to do that. And I used to fail on this big time because especially pre-2020, I was that guy trying to be friends with everyone. I was that one like, oh yeah, um, it's okay. I was very, very passive. And I was always thinking like, yeah, I'm going to be like 25 forever. But you're fooling yourself if you believe that. The time is going to go and you really need to get your shit together and update your wallet, which thank you for GQ, Jamal for that. Subscribe to his channel for sure. So because of that kind of change, especially with uh, how I was and uh, how I am currently now, a lot of stuff I was able to get done uh, even to a bigger, bigger uh, extent with bigger, bigger success because I had a fucking backbone. You understand? So... Because of that, um, my time, so because of that, my time, like I said, like um, I spent a good time in the summer in, summer in New York and in Canada. And when I was in New York and Canada, I was able to meet like good friends and also just kind of network because that's one of the best things I've even learned coming, uh, especially doing these like travels and being in this side of the world is that I was able to network with people who, as I even link it back to in the past in like UK, I had, to kind of, I had to cut away people who weren't adding value to your life. You automatically get them in different shapes, forms, in different shapes and sizes if you put yourself in these kind of positions. Hence, when I was in New York City, I was able to network with different like-minded people that weren't the usual bunch of people that I used to hang out, or hang out with before. Case in point, you've got to take risks. You've got to take risks and... It doesn't matter sometimes how many times you fail, and all you need to do, folks, is just pass one time. But you gotta take risks in the swell, honestly. What's so cool is um, the same time I came to Mexico and embarked in this adventure, one of my good roommates, uh, one of my friends, Felicia, shout out to him, um, he moved to Australia. So when I came to Mexico, he went to Australia, and he, he we both were at one position two years ago when we first met in the heart of the pandemic, and we were both thinking of, like, what are we going to do to really um, live our best life? We, we, we can, what are we going to do now? He had to to Australia, and I was going to come to this side of the world, Canada, America, and Mexico, and we both did it. We, we said, the first words we said two years ago, and two years now, we are both live and in color doing this now. But just like him, we both had to develop the backbone of cunning people out of our life that bring no value, ain't trying to push us forward, are getting jealous because of your success, you're enjoying your life. You need to get rid of those people ASAP, Rocky. And that's just probably one of the biggest things I've learned, not even just this year, but especially since the pandemic, or, or the pandemic began. you got to get rid of people like that, honestly. It's one life. Take your life seriously. I, I only sometimes wish I had learned this before <laughs> in my 20s, but it's never too late to learn.